On the inside, these very promising. Then behind these, Solid Oak and Noble Lear and Norfolk Pageant on the inside, Dalbury. And they're at the first and Green Bramble lead. They're all safely over the first. Green Bramble in the lead. Then on the right of the picture, the hoop jacket, that's Duke of Dollis. Pale colours in the centre of the field is Noble Air, the favourite. And they come down towards the second. And right on the extreme left is very promising. So they're coming down into the second. And at it, there on the right of the picture, it was Green Bramble that led. Military band on the inside, then Noble Air, and just in behind these on the outer Fitzherbert and Solid Oak. And so the order as they pass the stands with the circuit to go is that Green Bramble leads from Military Band in second place, then Solid Oak is third. These are followed by Noble Air in fourth place, and hugging the rail is very promising. Then Fitzherbert, and then Delbury, and behind Delbury, Norfolk Pageant. Then Brigadier Hawk, Duke of Dollis, and trailing are wrong again, also towards the rear is Grand March and the back marker is Woodspice, and they head away to the third. And Green Bramble, the one with the white sleeves, in the lead as they go down to it. Military band on the inside, John Joe O'Neill going the shortest way. They're at the third, and Solid Oak up on the outside. And in fact, they're all safely over the third. Very short run to the fourth, with little change amongst the leaders. Still Green Bramble on the outside of Military Band. Then Noble Air in between these. Solid Oak on the very wide outside of the field as they swing right-handed to go down the back straight. The close on the heels of the leaders is very promising. And also on the outside is Duke of Dollis. So they turn into the back straight. And here on the inside is Military Brand, who just goes on. Military Band from up on the outer of him, Green Bramble, and these two virtually matching strides. And Solid Oak is third. These are followed then by Norfolk Air, the favourite back in fourth place, and behind Norfolk Air is Military Band, and then behind these comes Very Promising. A gap then of a couple of lengths to Delbury, and the rest are going to trail. So they're going down towards the fifth, and as they do so, right on the inside of the flight is Very Promising, and that one's tracking Military Band, the leader. So it's Military Band in the lead, the dark colours towards the left of the leading group, on the right of the leading group with the white sleeves is Green Bramble. On the very wide outside is Solid Oak. And then the favourite of the very pale colours uh, coming to dispute uh, the leading position as they come down towards the third from home. On the inside, their military band, then Noble Air, Green Bramble on the outer, then very promising and Solid Oak. This is the third last. The leader skipped it over safely with the exception of Solid Oak who unseated his rider there. An unfortunate fall by Solid Oak. And Stuart Cargig is uh, still on the deck, I'm afraid to say. But it's John Joe O'Neill, a military band in the lead from Green Bramble on the outside then Noble Air in third place in fact very promising moving up on the inside of Noble Air and in fact I can tell you that the jockey Stuart Cargig is now getting to his feet as the leaders turn into the home straight and the race really concerning these four and I must say the favourites back in fourth place not looking like a winner for me at this stage turning into the home straight military band has the advantage military band in the lead from Green Bramble in second place then behind these comes very promising then Noble Air and behind these comes Dalbury. So as they come down to the second last, it's military band on the inside. Very promising down the centre of the track. Green Bramble towards the camera side. Noble air in between these. Coming down to the final flight. Just two furlongs left to go. And it's very promising from Green Bramble. Noble air really staying on. Military band towards the left. Coming down to the final flight. And very promising just has the advantage. Very promising from Noble air, military brand and Green Bramble. So they're coming down to the final flight. Very promising has the advantage from military band at the last, very promising for Military Brand. Then comes Green Bramble on the near side. Uh, the, the Noble Air, the favourite, back in fourth place. But it's very promising, who just has the upper hand as they come up towards the line. Very promising, standing on, coming up towards the line. He's going to win it at the line. Very promising is the winner. Green Bramble is second, then Military Band third. A disappointing run by the favourite, Noble Air, back in fourth. And then came Fitzherbert, who never really got into the race at all. And behind him, Duke of Dollis. Then came Norfolk Pageant and Dalbury. And behind Dalbury uh, was, in fact, Brigadier Hawk also towards the rear. Grand March and finishing but tailed off is wrong again, pulled up was Woodspice and so the result of this the Foo Brokers Drink 10 Trophy a win for very promising number 14, owned by Mr. R.H. Mann, trained at uh, 7 Stoke by Mercy Rimmel, ridden by Sam Morshead, number 47